Samsung has introduced its latest Galaxy S series models, bringing both improvements and some unexpected changes. One of the biggest differences this year is the removal of expandable storage on the Galaxy A30 sticks and Galaxy A50 sticks. For years, Samsung's mid-range phones stood out by offering microSD card support, but that is no longer the case. This shift aligns these devices more closely with Samsung's flagship models, which phased out expandable storage long ago. But is this change a necessary step forward, or are users losing an important feature? MicroSD card slots have long been a valuable feature for budget-conscious users who needed extra space without paying for a higher storage variant. While Samsung's premium Galaxy S series dropped this option years ago, mid-range models still provided the flexibility to expand storage when needed. Now, with the 2025 Galaxy A lineup, that convenience is gone. Users of the Galaxy A36 and A56 will need to rely on the internal storage or cloud-based alternatives to save their photos, videos, and apps. Samsung has been gradually moving away from expandable storage, and it's now clear that the mid-range segment is following suit. While some users may not see this as a big issue, especially those who prefer cloud storage, others might feel restricted by the change. Many people rely on microSD cards to store large media files, game data, and important backups. Without this option, they will have to carefully manage their available storage or invest in external solutions. Interestingly, not all devices in this series are affected. The more affordable Galaxy A26 still includes a microSD slot, and it even supports cards up to 2 terabytes, which is an improvement over the previous 1 terabyte limit. This makes it the only option in the lineup for those who prefer expandable storage. It's surprising that the lower cost model retains this feature, while the pricier A36 and A56 drop it. Whether this is a strategic move to differentiate the models or an attempt to encourage users to opt for higher internal storage variants, it's a decision that will impact buying choices. With no microSD slot, users of the A36 and A56 must choose between the 128GB and 256GB storage options. While these capacities might be sufficient for some, those who store a lot of content may find themselves running out of space. Without expandable storage, alternatives include cloud services like Google Drive and OneDrive, or using external USB drives. Cloud storage is convenient, but often requires a paid subscription for larger capacities and may not be practical for those with limited internet access. Despite this change, the new Galaxy a models bring other enhancements. Samsung has improved the build quality, updated the camera design, and extended software support, making these devices feel more polished. The removal of microSD support may have been a cost-saving measure or an effort to push users toward larger storage variants and cloud solutions. Regardless of the reason, this change alters how users will manage their data moving forward. The main question remains, does the absence of expandable storage make these phones less appealing? Some users may not mind, especially if they already rely on cloud storage, but others might see it as a major drawback. Mid-range phone buyers often prioritize affordability and flexibility, and losing a key feature like expandable storage could influence their purchasing decisions. While Samsung's flagship phones have already moved in this direction, mid-range users typically have different needs, making this change more significant. What are your thoughts on this decision? Share your opinions in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest tech trends. Smartphone companies seem to be in a fierce battle to create the slimmest devices, and 2025 might be the year when ultra-thin phones take center stage. Big brands like Samsung and Apple are already making moves in this direction. Samsung has hinted at the Galaxy S25 Edge, which is expected to be unveiled in April, while Apple is reportedly working on the iPhone 17 Air, which could arrive later this year. However, an unexpected player might steal the spotlight in this competition. Just ahead of MWC 2025, one of the most important tech events of the year, Chinese brand Techno has revealed its latest innovation, the Spark Slim. What makes this device stand out is its claim of being the world's thinnest smartphone. But the real surprise is that it manages to house a 5,200 mAh battery, despite being just 5.75 mm thick. That's not all. It also features dual 50 megapixel cameras, making it a serious contender in the ultra thin category. But there's a major drawback the Spark Slim is still in the concept phase. While Techno plans to showcase demo units at MWC, there's no confirmation on when, or even if, this phone will actually launch. Many concept devices never make it to mass production. A similar situation happened last year when Techno introduced an ultra-thin trifold phone that generated a lot of excitement, but never became a commercially available product. Even though the Spark Slim remains a concept for now, its features are impressive. The phone comes with a 6.78-inch AMOLED display with curved edges, 
offering a sharp 1224 resolution and a smooth 144 hertz refresh rate. One of its standout features is its incredible peak brightness of 4,500 nits, which surpasses most flagship devices. The front camera is a 13 megapixel sensor, neatly placed within a punch hole cutout. Inside, the 4.04 millimeter thick battery supports 45 watt fast charging. And although the camera bump adds some extra thickness, the overall design remains incredibly slim. At just 5.75 millimeters thick, the Spark Slim showcases impressive engineering, especially considering its battery capacity. To put this into perspective, Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S25 Edge is rumored to be around 6 millimeters thick and will likely feature a 4,000 mAh battery. This means Techno has managed to fit a significantly larger battery into a thinner device, which raises an interesting question. How is this possible? The answer lies in advancements in battery technology. The Spark Slim reportedly uses silicon carbon batteries, which offer higher energy density while keeping the size compact. This is the same technology seen in the Ohm Plus 13, which managed to fit a 6,000 mAh battery without making the device overly bulky. By adopting this innovation, Techno has pushed the boundaries of smartphone design, at least on paper. Meanwhile, Apple is also aiming to make an impact in the ultra-thin smartphone market with the iPhone 17 Air. Reports suggest it could measure as little as 5.5 millimeters at its thinnest point. However, Apple's approach is likely to be different. Instead of prioritizing battery size, Apple focuses on software efficiency to maximize battery life. While the iPhone 17 Air might end up being one of the slimmest phones ever, it may not match the Spark Slim in terms of battery capacity. As more brands enter this race, a focus on ultra-thin designs is becoming more evident. But is this trend really practical? While slim phones look stylish and feel great to hold, they often come with compromises. Smaller batteries, weaker cooling systems, and limited camera capabilities are some of the trade-offs that come with ultra-thin designs. If Techno succeeds in bringing the Spark Slim to market with all the promised features, it could redefine what's possible for slim smartphones. But if it remains just another concept, then companies like Samsung and Apple will continue leading the way in this space. Would you be willing to switch to an ultra-thin smartphone if it meant sacrificing some features, or do you prefer a slightly thicker device with better battery life? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest tech trends. Apple might finally be making a long-awaited change with the iPhone 17 Pro, and it's one that many users have been hoping to see. According to new reports, the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max could come with 12 kilobytes of RAM, a significant jump that seems necessary as Apple focuses more on artificial intelligence. Apple has often lagged behind Android in terms of memory, but this upgrade could make a noticeable difference in performance and the future of Apple intelligence. As usual, Apple is expected to unveil the iPhone 17 lineup in September, sticking to its annual launch schedule. Recent leaks have hinted at possible design changes, with some sources suggesting that the Pro models might look different this time, possibly taking inspiration from Google's Pixel devices. While that remains uncertain, one thing seems clear. Apple is designing its new Pro models with Apple intelligence in mind, meaning they need more power to handle AI-driven features efficiently. Initially, reports suggested that only the iPhone 17 Pro Max would receive a RAM upgrade to manage AI processing demands. However, a new update from analyst 